We begin tonight with President Trump telling the New York Times that he believes Robert Mueller, the special counsel in the Russian investigation, will treat him fairly, which contradicts the persistent media narrative that Trump has been close to firing Mueller. While the White House has stayed, quote, uninvolved, some members of the Republican Party have publicly called for Mueller to step down from what they perceive to be a tainted and even unnecessary Russia probe. President Trump did say, however, he believes that the Russian investigation makes the United States look very bad and puts our country in a very bad position. Let's talk to a panel about this for Reaction. Amy Holmes, Rasmussen Reports political analyst, Madison and Jesse Otto, a Washington Times columnist and National Diversity Coalition for Trump advisor, and Katrina Pearson, America First policy spokesperson and, of course, the former Trump campaign national spokeswoman. Katrina, let's start with you. Um, I thought it was a really interesting uh, you know, uh, uh, interview, and already I'm seeing where some people were saying the interview itself was a veiled <laughs> threat from President Trump to Robert Mueller. Or not well, belled, if you want well, to take course, it. Of course, Charles. And this, this is what they do. The media has to find something to keep this Russia narrative going, to keep trying to to push this president to do something that he just simply doesn't want to do, isn't interested in doing, and has said a number of times that it's just not going to happen. But the president is right. It does make America look bad because here you have a historic election of millions of Americans turning out and demanding change, fundamentally rejecting Republicans and Democrats alike, wanting to put themselves first and now you have a lot of Democrats the majority of the mainstream media and now some on the inside of the deep state trying to delegitimize the presidency and that does do damage however uh, the president will be successful uh, with the, with the amount of leaks that have come out of the FBI alone they still can't prove collusion uh, right. there's this this rat race that's going on the president's going to win in the end so of course he's not concerned in Madison and they still can't even uh, verify that this dossier that they're basing everything on is even valid that you know th there are big questions over who funded it but even bigger questions over the validity of it of it you know, when we look at President Trump's interview and he talks about how he expects that he will be treated fairly, I think what we should be talking about is the fact that we should expect nothing less than the President of the United States and any citizen be treated fairly in a situation like this. I have two words when it comes to the, you know, the Russian investigation, fake news. When we look at CNN, we look at MSNBC, and we even look at some guests right here on Fox Business and Fox News, they talk about all of these things. President Trump's going to fire Mueller. President Trump's going to do this. He's not doing any of those things. If he's eating an orange, they say he's eating an apple, and it's just simply not true. Also, though, uh, Amy, uh, uh, President Trump reminded the interviewer that uh, he, as, as chief executive, he does have certain prerogatives. Mm -hmm. He's withheld from using them <clears throat> and hopes that this thing is wrapped up. And again, back to the idea that it will be all uh, above board. Right. And, you know, it's not, on, not only does it make our country look bad and our democratic process to not be working, it's really divisive and it turns Americans against each other. And, Charles, I can tell you at Rasmussen Reports, we have found in our polling data that now almost nearly half of voters think that uh, there was an illegal effort to deny President Trump the presidency. This isn't good for our country. It's not good for democracy. So all of these constant attacks from the media and now what we're learning about Mueller's uh, investigative and attor uh, attorneys, his team, and what seem to be some really glaring uh, biases, <clears throat> whether perceived or real, that's not good for America either if we can't have faith and confidence in the results of this investigation. Uh, uh, Katrina, I think Amy is being, uh, you know, professional here. Or, or, or <laughs> I mean, it seems to be, it's perceived to be. <clears throat> Some of those email exchanges and, and, and that have been uh, discovered uh, with p key critical folks involved in this investigation are, are outright disdain for first Donald Trump, the candidate, and, and even going so far as to suggest insurance policies, doing whatever they could to derail his candidacy. Uh, that's not perception. And the big question is, though, how much of that played a role in the actual investigation, not only of, of President Trump, but in the so supposedly exoneration of Hillary Clinton? Well, and I think that's where the key is. And it's pretty scary if you think about it. When you have high-level officials in the Department of uh, Justice over at the FBI who are actually colluding to, to hurt the current president of the United States, people should be worried. I think that's another reason why the president isn't really concerned, because there has been a huge spotlight on this investigation, on the individuals involved who have cross-pollinated with the Clinton investigations, and all that's coming out more and more. And I don't, really don't think Mueller wants to have a crisis on his hands when it comes to the country. People have to have faith in their justice system, and it's going to be up to him to make sure that all of the truth comes out and this investigation closes with something that all Americans can believe in. Yeah, you know, Madison, also the calls for 
uh, you know, the special counsel to investigate the special counsel. Uh, even at this point, talking about firing Mueller, I've had a, a lot of Republicans on who talked about that. But I, I think, I think at this stage of the game, that probably makes things a lot worse. And, and then and it's sort of like playing the game of Monopoly, having to go back to go and not collect two hundred dollars. I mean, I don't know where we are with respect to getting this done, but it's been a very long time. They've proven no collusion, and hopefully, they'll wrap it up. Right, and I think a lot of people are falsely believing in mutual exclusivity here and saying that, okay, just because the investigation's tainted, the result also has to be tainted. Even if we are to say that there was some issues with the investigation, we can still come to an equitable and fair result, uh, a truthful result that the American people can get behind, that they can believe in on this investigation. And the evidence all seems to be pointing towards the fact that this investigation will be closed quickly and that the president, of course, will be exonerated because he did nothing wrong here. There was no rush inclusion. The evidence is pointing to that. We've seen nothing to the contrary, and so hopefully this will close early in 2018. Amy? And Charles, if there's even one silver, li silver lining, if you can call it that, it's Katrina's point, which is that this has exposed, uh, you know, the highest levels of law enforcement in what looks to be some pretty shady behavior. And just imagine if Hillary Clinton had been elected, we wouldn't know.